Hey plant gang, I'm sitting here amongst a sea of Convalaria majalis, the lily of the valley. Uh, it is August, it is late season. This is not exactly this plant's time to shine because it is known uh, for its very kind of petite uh, spring bloom and then also how beautiful it is in new foliage. Uh, complete a uh, ground cover. Uh, where we are in uh, East Tennessee, uh, this plant does have a tendency to mostly die back down to the ground uh, and then reemerge with beautiful, uh, very fresh looking foliage. And so uh, you can see this here used as a shady ground cover, Lily of the Valley, Convalaria majalis, a beautiful plant you should know. So Lily of the Valley, the Convalaria, hardy from zones three through eight, typically just uh, a half a foot tall, maybe, uh, depending on which one, growing up to about a foot tall. Uh, one plant spreading out into a little clump of about uh, one foot wide or one foot around. Uh, typical bloom, uh, maybe a little bit before April for us, uh, but in most regions of the, uh, the country, April would be a good uh, time to say that this blooms. White bell-like flowers uh, that result in what we're seeing now, uh, the circular round fruit. Really tolerant of rabbits and deers, heavy shade, erosion, clay soils, dry soils, can really grow in a variety of conditions. Uh, so uh, easy to grow, very popular, great for a shady ground cover. Lily of the Valley, uh, you know, the specific epithet means belonging to May, which show, that just tells you that this is a plant that really is showing out in the springtime. And here's a landscape tip. Best as a ground cover for shady areas, maybe too rambunctious for smaller gardens.